Hey you guys, it's your girl Earthman, but welcome back to my channel. So tonight I'm going to be just doing like a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I love doing these. I used to do these all the time back in the day. Um, but the difference was is that used to I would just ramble and I wouldn't edit and I kind of want to get back to doing that. So I don't know if I'm going to be posting this on the Patreon or the YouTube channel, but tonight we are going to be discussing uh, Britney Spears, Paris Hilton, and Nicole Smith and all the recent docs that have come out uh, surrounding them. And we're also going to discuss Gorilla Glue Girl. So um, I'm not going to be talking during all of this, so I might put like timestamps where I start talking if you guys just want to hear that because... I really just like doing my makeup and like enjoying it and showing you guys the process. I just kind of start talking randomly. So anyways, I will try to put timestamps down below. Um, if you are not already subscribed, hit subscribe, like this video, uh, follow me on my other social medias at EarthMove on Twitter and Instagram. Also, I did start a Patreon. So if this is not on a Patreon, then I did start a Patreon and it is at EarthMove and it is $3 a month. Anyways, okay, let's get started on the makeup. So can we first talk about gorilla glue girl in case you live under a rock if you don't know who gorilla glue girl is which her name is not gorilla glue girl it's tessica i feel like it's so rude to call her that but like a lot of people don't know her name tessica essentially did some really stupid shit like i'm not gonna lie what she did was stupid she got gorilla glue stuck in her hair for over a month and the thing is was it stupid? Yes. But was it not a mistake that like probably quite a few people could make? Like, yeah, it was. So Tesca got Gorilla Glue stuck in her hair because she didn't have any more got to be, which is what she usually uses, right? I don't know why people are acting like they just know what Gorilla Glue is. Like she thought it was Gorilla Snot. That's what she thought it was. She thought it was Gorilla Snot, which is like, a, um, you know, a gel that people used to use like back in the day. And she clearly just got it confused with that, right? Well, people were acting like she was an idiot for like a simple mistake. And the thing is, is that if we were filmed for every single mistake that we made, we would look like some damn fools. Like that's just the reality. We would look like some damn fools. I kind of jumped right into talking about Tessica. Before we get into um, any of the topics of tonight, can we just discuss how freaking cold it is? It is literally ridiculous. Like y'all, okay, so let me just give y'all a little rundown of my day. So I went to Dollar General, Kroger, Walmart, Big Lots, <laughs> Home Depot, and Tractor Supply. I went to all those places today looking for space heaters, okay, because my furnace doesn't work. It was so crazy because the old owners of the house text me today. They're so sweet and they were like, um, hey, we just wanted to let you know if you don't let the water, like from the water hose downstairs or whatever, like both the water spouts um, drain or whatever, then your pipes could bust. So I was like, oh shoot, like, thank you for letting me know that, you know? But yeah, so they text me or whatever and I was like, oh, like, you know, that's great. Thank you for letting us know or whatever but does the furnace work because um it is literally freezing so she was like oh yeah like it worked for us the you know winter before we moved out or whatever and i was like then what's going on like why is why is it not working for us like did it just so happen to go out when we bought it and that's the thing the thing is is that i literally think that that's the case like i'm saying that like i don't but i actually do think that that is exactly something that would happen anyway turns out my neighbor had a little space heater that we could use i keep forgetting where to look <laughs> i'm sorry you guys i haven't been in front of the camera in a while and i'm not gonna lie it's because and i feel like i say this so often but it's really because i just haven't had much to say about much of anything and also like i don't know about y'all but if I'm being honest, it's been kind of hard to get in front of the camera. Like, I don't know what's going on. I've been talking to a lot of different creators and they've just been saying that it's really hard to create right now. Like, it's really just, it's like bleak. It's like a really bleak time, you know? And it's weird, like, especially with this winter storm, you'd think that I would feel that way. But I'm actually like, I could literally, whenever I found out there was like a, a winter storm, I could feel like serotonin, like run through my body. Like as soon as I heard that 
there was gonna be a winter storm. Why can I just not get this eyebrow the way that I want it? This is why I'm always late everywhere because I spend 45 minutes on a freaking, on one freaking eyebrow. And I'm literally done with this eyebrow. Do we not all have that problem eyebrow though? Like this one literally took me one minute. This one has taken me 45 minutes and I'm pretty sure they don't even look the same. This one's looking a little thicker and this one's looking a little thinner, but, and this one is also I'm pretty sure darker. Okay, now I'm happy. Now I'm happy with my brows. Okay, that only took me 45 minutes, so. Okay, so now let's go in with foundation. So y'all already know. Is it not been boring watching me like the past like three years do the exact same foundation routine? And I am out of my milk makeup um, moisturizer and also my Bobbi Brown primer. And I really haven't been going anywhere significant enough for me to wear it. So, um, I haven't like invested in buying anymore. Can y'all tell I'm breaking out? I don't know what's going on. I think I'm about to try this new birth control um, that my gyno recommended to me. A little TMI for y'all. Because I have an IUD, but it runs out this year. And I'm super nervous and I don't wanna get pregnant. So, um, she recommended this new birth control and it's like, it's like gel. But the only bad part is, is that you have to remember to like spray it up there every time you get ready to do it. <laughs> and I'm like, eh, that sounds a little inconvenient. And then she was like, well, I can get you a box of 12 for free. And I was like thinking in my head, like, wait, can you only order them 12 at a time? Because I was like, no, like you should be able to at least order like 40 at a time or like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know, but anyway, so I went to, remember how I was telling y'all I went to all those places today? Well, I forgot that I had to go to the pharmacy at Kroger to get the box, the free box of 12 that my gyno recommended me or was gonna give me or whatever. So I went up there y'all and mind you, Kroger called me two days ago to tell me that this was ready. And I go up there, I wait for longer than 30 minutes. I was behind nine cars yes i get i could have called i understand that but whatever i didn't and i got up there and they told me they didn't even have it i had missed school traffic like bus traffic but i was about to be in five o'clock traffic and i was zoom zoom like oh you ho like i was gone like y'all could not catch me <laughs> i was being safe i was being safe don't worry but i was gone on you hoes like i'm not gonna lie but anyways okay you know what let's talk should we talk about Paris and um and Brittany and Anna Nicole first okay so the first talk that I watched like all the way through was about Anna Nicole Smith and Anna Nicole Smith is somebody that I watched growing up as a kid like I had no business watching the Anna Nicole Smith show first of all I had no business okay mom if you're watching this I'm sorry but I had no business watching a lot of the stuff that I was watching and my mom didn't know I was watching and thought I wasn't watching <laughs> and my grandma and so I had a little baby like square TV in my room and I used to watch the Anna Nicole Smith show whenever I was like really young and I definitely had no business watching it then, but I just thought she was so funny. Like in a list of white women that I, gr I loved growing up, Anna Nicole Smith was like very high at the top because I always loved like the busty like blonde bombshell. It was just like, always my favorite like one of my favorite tropes that's why I loved Dolly Parton and I loved loved because I feel like I have to always preface that and like put a pretense on it loved Paris Hilton not any longer now that I found out that she was like a Republican even though she does talk about her family being super conservative in this doc that I watched which I'm not surprised at all because like they're Hilton's like obviously they like thrive off of like capitalism and like you know conglomerates and everything like that so no, I'm not surprised that uh, she's a Republican or that her family is or whatever. Look at how pale I am, it's disgusting. This is from me being in the house, like, but you know what, like, I'm still at home with it. Like, people, like, I was literally telling my grandma today, I was like, dude, we're still in the middle of a pandemic. Like, I don't know what y'all thought this was. Like, I'm, I'm still at home with it. Like, I think that's another reason that it's just been like, so just like, 
uh because it's like dude we're not going out we're not getting cute we're not going anywhere like what are we doing and I, that's why i like really like um like big up the people that have made so much for themselves during the quarantine and like really thrive during quarantine whether it's tiktok whether it's youtube like whether it's with their music like soundcloud whatever it is like dude go you because you are better than me like the the story of anna nicole smith is so tragic because she really wasn't a bad girl like she really wasn't a bad person you know what i mean like she didn't deserve any of the hate that she got she was genuinely just a small town girl that I mean, hey, like it, their relationship, like the really, because the whole thing was, is that she was considered a gold digger, right? Because she was dancing at this, um, titty bar, like I'm somebody's grandma. She was dancing at this, at the script, at the script club. And she encountered, um, an old man who just happened to be basically an oil tycoon. And whenever he passed and like, everybody was like, well, we don't understand because like basically like you're so young and he's so old and she was just like you know like it's not that it's necessarily sexual obviously like what would i what would there be sexually like how why would i be sexually attracted to this man like what about him would make y'all think that i'm sexually attracted to him it's crazy how she she was the younger one and she was the one more like more disadvantaged, but she was the one that was to blame for like being preyed upon essentially by an old man. Like nobody looked at him and said, huh, this old man knows that this girl, this young mother is in a tough position with a child, but not nah, he's the, he's the helpless one. Like she's the bad guy. Like she's the bad guy, Chun-Li, honestly, like Anna Nicole Smith, come on how was she like this is this just goes to show and it's you know it's like coming out a lot of like about the women in, from the early 2000s that need to get their justice that were just completely shit on by the media and it's not just you know anna nicole smith it's lindsay lohan even though she was a little nuts not gonna lie like in her like most recent you know escapades like she has been a little nuts i'm not gonna lie but yeah, it was it was Amanda Bynes, it was Amy Winehouse, it was like it was every like young pop popular girl actress Demi Lovato, Christina Aguilera, Raven Simone, Beyonce, like whether Jamie Lynn Spears, Jamie Lynn Spears, whenever it came out that she was pregnant, and then like all this weird stuff came out about like Dan Schneider and like Amanda, Bynes. it was it was like a lot, y'all. It was a lot and. You know, I even said it on Twitter because whenever I was that young, like watching, you know, Anna Nicole Smith show, The Simple Life, you know, like all of these shows, um, I never realized because I, I even, oh, the, um, the Playboy Bunny show I used to watch with Holly and Bridget and, um, Kendra, come on now. That was my shit. Like, y'all, I love the Playboy Bunny girls. I thought that they were absolutely gorgeous like i said i love the blonde bimbo bombshell look i've always loved it but yeah and so i never realized like of course whenever i was older and i started you know like because i would always so whenever i would go to the grocery store with my mom or my grandma i would always be found in the church's chicken because i had just came from the magazine area right so like i would go get me a magazine i'd go get me like a 17 magazine or a bop or you know all those little magazines that were just right there look at how uneven like everything i'm doing is just is so extremely uneven but anyway um i would go get me a cute little magazine and then i would go in the church's chicken and maybe get me a little biscuit with honey on <laughs> this literally used to be my routine y'all i would go get my magazine and go sit over at the church's chicken and wait for my grandma would, to get done grocery shopping and i would get me a little biscuit with honey on it and I would look at the magazines. And so like whenever I could start looking at like People Magazine or Us Magazine or what was it like Star Magazine, like all those, then I started to realize like, oh, Britney isn't cool anymore because, you know, it would be her like with the umbrella, like trying to, you know, stab the paparazzi car or like, do y'all remember that really weird time? 
I know y'all do. If y'all really like loved magazines and like watched E! News. I don't know why. I was so young like watching E! News and like watching The Soup and like <laughs> watching like um, Entertainment Tonight. Like I loved all that. I watched all that with my grandmas. So do y'all remember that really weird time whenever paparazzi was trying to catch like every young star in their panties like whether they were getting out of the car or whether they were getting in the car or whether they were just like out at the club like it didn't matter what they were doing they were all it was like every day every night of the week there was like a new like vag slip on the covers of these magazines and I would just be like bro it was so weird like it was Lindsay Lohan it was Christina Aguilera it was Britney Spears it was Paris Hilton it was Nicole Richie it was like it was so weird. It was so weird. And whenever you watch the uh, the Britney doc, which I thought, I think maybe was my favorite doc, but um, it's not surprising that like Britney and Paris were friends because they were both so trapped and so controlled. And you don't even know that growing up. Like growing up, you think, wow, like I want to be these girls. Like they literally have all the money. They have like the cutest clothes, you know, the cutest outfits. But then you don't even realize growing up that like these girls are miserable. Like these women are miserable. They hate their lives. Like they're doing all of this acting out because they hate their lives. It was really genuinely sad. Like who would have ever thought that like whenever I watched the Paris doc, I was like, who would have ever thought that Paris Hilton would have been being abused in like a random like prison camp for kids? Like just weird weirdo shit her parents were so shitty like her dad wasn't even in the dock but her mom was in the dock and she was like we just didn't know what we were supposed to do like she was just acting out so bad and it's like dude learn why do y'all have kids like uh don't even get me started don't even get me started on people not knowing how to discipline their kids but continuing to have kids like just stupid and like, I know that like kids know right from wrong or whatever, but like kids are kids at the end of the day. Like they're kids. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. This is why I don't have kids because I don't feel like trying to control another human being. But yeah, so that's what I was, that's what I've been doing with my time during this winter weather storm. And it's like, dude, I don't know if it is because my <laughs> birth control is running out or what, but I literally started like tearing up watching the Paris Hilton dot because it's just, it's so sad. Yet yeah, not like just her, like it was just after watching all of them, after watching the Britney doc and seeing how you can tell her mental health has like declined since her dad has taken full control, Jamie Spears, which I can't even imagine how he treated Jamie Lynn whenever she got pregnant, but Jamie Lynn won't speak. And I think that she just wants to be out of the public eye because she doesn't even want to open up that can of worms and I don't blame her at all. And I hate that for them, but today it's actually really good news. Apparently like some judge, I don't even know her name. I wish I did know her name because I believe it was a woman, but um, she is like, it's basically moved Britney in the right direction as far as like getting her freedom. Um, and I'm so happy for her. Like, I'm so happy for her. I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her kids. Like she, Brittany deserved better because she could have had a longer run. Not that she hasn't had a great run. Like she, you know, she has the, or had the residency in Las Vegas. Like Brittany is wanted. She is wanted. She was making a million dollars a week. Like don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that she didn't have any control over that is just so awful. It's so horrible. So free Britney till it's backwards period like that's what we're that's what we're going for in uh 2021 through 2022 through 2023 however long we gotta do it okay what are we gonna do next I think we're gonna do highlighter people don't do highlighter anymore but you know what? I still like I love the hourglass highlighter I've hit pan on it but like I'm going around the edges of it and I I still like this highlighter like I don't have I told y'all how much I love Emma Chamberlain? I feel like that's random, but I don't know if I've uh, admitted that at my big age, but I adore her and I weirdly relate to her even though I don't because I am not a millionaire um, that's like 20 years old. I'm a comfortable 23 year old, but I am not a millionaire um, 20 year old so or 19 year old however old she is 
But anyways, that's not what we're um, gonna talk about. We are gonna talk about Gorilla Glue Girl. So whenever Miss Tessica, you know, posted that she had put it on her hair on TikTok, she had already had it on there for like a month. So if she was trying to get clout or whatever, would she not have done that whenever like it first happened? Like obviously she was like not really tripping over it. and then she kind of, you know, got scared and got worried because it'd been a month and her hair was still doing the same stuff. She, but anyway, so she already had it on there for like a month at that point. So like, I don't think that she was doing it for clout. And the thing is, it's too risky. And like, my whole point of talking about this is, is that whenever I first heard about it, like I was, I think more in shock than anything. This has probably been one of the biggest conversations online since like the verses or maybe like the insurrection this year but like whenever i think of like 2021 like this has probably been the biggest thing that we've all you know got in on the conversation on anyway the point of me bringing up miss tessica is a lot of people had a lot to say and it was people that i didn't expect them to like look at it this way okay off topic but i bought this patrick ta lipstick because i can't even help it i just i love his aesthetic and i got it in the color oh she's single right yeah the oh she's single one i also have this in the um the uh lip liner but i think i broke it the other day so i'm gonna be using a different brown lip liner today um but yeah it looks super peachy on camera but in person like when you're looking at it just in person it doesn't look that peachy um but then whenever you put it on your lips it looks super peachy so we're gonna be putting this on tonight. As far as Gorilla Glue Girl goes, like, my only real question is like, why are y'all being so awful to her? Like, why does her presence bother y'all so much? Okay, you know what? I forgot to do some of my other um highlighter. But no, like, why does her presence bother y'all so much? And people's number one excuse right now as to why they don't like her is because of the GoFundMe that she like raised or whatever for her um for her hair but the thing is is why are y'all trying to control what other people do with their money once again like y'all are constantly like who do you think you are like if people wanted to give to a gofundme like that's on them like it's almost like whenever you know you see a homeless person not comparing her to a homeless person or whatever but it's almost like whenever you see a homeless person and you try to give them a dollar and somebody in the car is like, nah, man, they're just gonna spend it on beer and cigarettes. That's their money to do with what they please at that point. Like you decided to give them the money. You can't say like, you wouldn't like whenever your parent would give you something, but then like throw it in your face or like try to control how you use it. Like, okay, I'm gonna give you this car, but you can only drive it to work and school. What? Like, I can't go visit my friends. like. I can't go to the library if I want to go to the library. Like, I can't go to the park if I want to go to the park. I can't go to the mall if I want to go to the mall. Like, you wouldn't like people putting um, putting boundaries on gifts that they give you. Like, and that's essentially what a GoFundMe is. Like, you can't tell. After you give it, that's, you gave it. Like, you can't control what they do with it at this point. There's not, like, any restrictions on what they can do at this point because there's not a contract. Like, you gave them your money that's all there is to it like you can't control what they do with it at that point i don't know why so many people that didn't even give <laughs> right because maybe they were unable or maybe they didn't see the need to give or maybe that you know what i'm saying like it's tough times right now so oh this is the um the lip pencil and oh she's single but like like i said i'm pretty sure like i broke it but whatever, it's a beautiful color. I'm definitely gonna get it again um, very soon. Yeah, so it's like maybe, you know, you were unable to give or maybe you just didn't wanna give, but you're talking shit or getting on people that did give and being like, oh, ha ha, like you got fooled, you got played. It's like, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just wanted to give because that's just the type of person I am. Like, that's what I wanted to do. Who cares? Why do you care? Why do you care? And why do you care? that she made money off of a dumb mistake. Why do you give a shit? Like people do it all the time. Like people literally do it all the time on TikTok. People do it on Instagram. Like people are getting to the bag during a pandemic and you're mad about it. What are y'all genuinely on? And I think what it is, 
and a lot of people have said this, but I genuinely think what it is is that there was not a camera around whenever you made mistakes in your life that probably could have made you go viral. Like a stupid mistake that you made whenever you were drunk or, you know what I mean? Whenever you were a kid and you were doing, you know, something in sports, what, like whatever, whatever. There wasn't a camera around when you did it. So now you're mad that somebody is making money off a mistake and you cannot make or monetize any money off of your mistakes that you've made in the past. That you feel are on the same level as hers. Like that, that's the only answer that makes sense to me. Somebody said, um, no, we're mad because it's a crime and criminals are bad for like all of society and it'll make the price of Gorilla Glue go up. As if Gorilla Glue was not in her flop era. Like as if we've all just been like, you know, always talking about Gorilla Glue. No, no. If anything, Gorilla Glue should be thanking Tessica. Honestly, they should be thanking her because there's no telling how many more people are buying that. People are buying it now because it's all over the news. Like they're having to lock it up in stores. And it's like, dude, that just more people hearing about a product is obviously going to make the product you know, be bought more. So I don't even know why they're complaining. It doesn't seem like Gorilla Glue's complaining. Like they sent her a cute little wish you well. It wasn't much of anything, you know, but like, it was like, okay, girl, like we hope you're okay. Like we're not mad at you for it, but like you're not getting any money out of it. <laughs> but you know, like, there's like a reputable lawyer that will like represent her, thinks that she possibly has a case, then maybe she has a case. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to hurry up and finish my makeup and come back with a finished look. so much thank you so much for watching and